want to show you today on this first lesson uh, the uh, right hand work behind the uh, bossa nova beat on a classical guitar. Um, this is something a lot of people ask me and uh, I'm going to show it in a very simple uh, rhythmic cells. So we'll break it down into basic ingredients let's say and uh, you will need to work with the right hand a lot. This is basically a right hand exercise. I'll, I'll use some very very simple chords on the left hand. So right hand wise all you need is think of them uh, of your fingers as, as two different groups. You've got the thumb working alone and these three fingers working together. Index, middle and ring finger. And it's all just a question of, of coordinating these two movements. The instrument of choice of most Brazilians is a classical guitar. Uh, it's slightly different from what you get in, in Europe and in America. Some people call it the Spanish guitar. Um, it's basically a bit smaller. The body is smaller than the uh, classic, uh, the acoustic uh, folk guitar. It hasn't got the uh, big guard because you play with your hands, not with a plectrum. Uh, the strings are made of nylon. They have a slightly gentler sound and they're not as loud and, and quieter and softer. Um, what else is there to say? The uh, neck is a bit wider, so the strings are more apart than they would be on a regular acoustic guitar. Okay, so before we move on, it's very important to have a clear understanding of two, two uh, rhythms. Well, this one is splitting the beat into two notes. So for every click, every beat, you have to play two notes. So you get something like one and two and three and four and so on. Easy. The other one is a bit more complicated. Think of the beat split in four this time. So for every one two, we have four notes, so it's more like one E and a two E and a three E and a da 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 um, But you can only see three notes here. You see that the middle one is a bit longer. So you've got the first and the second note and the second is longer and it overlaps and it kills the third. So try to ignore the third quarter of every beat let's say. So if your beat is going like one E and a, two E and a, we're going to skip this one and what you get is one E, a, two E, a. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate those two rhythms on the right hand. Um, let's just start with the uh, middle strings, okay, so your thumb will be playing the uh, fifth string Index plays the fourth, ring, I mean middle plays the third, and the ring finger plays the second. So remember these three are working together. So the uh, first rhythm we did, the red one, was like one and two and. So we play something like. I know it seems very easy. But make sure you get it right, you know, sit down, practice, trying to be as accurate as, as possible. The uh, second rhythm, the orange one, uh, you have the thumb playing the first of those three notes and the index, middle and ring finger playing the other two. So if the rhythm was one E, A, uh, two E, A, uh, what you get here is... understand the first rhythm and the second rhythm. So instead of playing just A, B, A, B, A, B, what we're going to do is do A, B and then B, A. And that's the trick that makes it a lot more interesting. So you do A, B, B, A. Now I know this is a right hand exercise, but I'll just show you some uh, very simple chords on the left hand just to make it more interesting to give it some, some uh, 
variety. So we'll do two bars of A minor 7, one bar of D minor, and one bar of E7. So uh, A minor 7 is basically just two fingers. Finger 1 fretting the first fret on the second string, C, and uh, finger 2 fretting an E on the second fret of the uh, fourth string. And we'll be playing this for two bars, that is to say rhythms A and B. And B and A. And we move on to D minor. Finger 1 frets an F on the top string, first fret. Finger 2 plays an A on the second fret of the third string. And finger 3 plays a D on the third fret of the second string. And then we'll, we'll be playing rhythms A and B only, because it's just for one bar. And the last chord, also for one bar, is the E7. Um, you can think of it as an A minor 7 that just went down a string. Each finger moves down a string. And uh, you fret fret 1 on the 3rd uh, string, G sharp. And uh, finger 2 is playing a B on the 5th string, 2nd fret. And then we'll do rhythms B and A, because we, we did A and B here. So we finish by playing B, A on the E7. So... Okay, now the important thing I forgot to mention is uh, to follow the changes with the right hand. So when you change chords with the left hand, remember to move the right one accordingly. So for the A minor, we had strings 5, 4, 3, 2, 5 with the thumb, 4, 3, 2 with index, middle and ring fingers. So when you move into a D minor, go up with your hand, play 4, 3, 2, 1. And when we go into the E7, 6, 4, 3, 2. So I'll, I'll play the whole thing. Um, this is the uh, full exercise. So this is about wraps it up. So make sure you practice, you know, sit with your classical guitar, try to picture yourself at the beach under the Brazilian sun, watching, you know, buddies walk past and uh, practice endlessly and you should be ready to the next step. Thank you very much.